It's time to cook with Susan Beck. Well, we're gonna work with this rice cooker again today. Again, this unit is made for cooking rice, but for many other things as well. Today, into the steamer basket, we are going to put some fillets of fish. My family goes up north every summer. We also live close to the Mississippi River, and we love to fish for panfish. So I have four little fillets here of some bluegills. I did put them on my kitchen scale to see how much they weighed. They're not quite a quarter of a pound, um, so I'm going to adjust my water today to match about a quarter of a pound. So a pound takes 120 of these milliliters of water on the little measuring cup that comes with this rice cooking unit, but a quarter pound I'm only going to use um, 30 of those. So water goes into the bottom pan, to the aluminum pan, and then into my steamer basket will go my fish. Now before I put my fish in, I really do think I would like some seasoning on it. So I am going to put a little fresh ground pepper, some salt, and today I am going to choose Old Bay seasoning. I think I'm just going to go with that on the top side and kind of just rub it through the excess on the bottom as I lift it into my pan here. So this would be a very healthy way to eat your fish rather than deep frying it, although I have to say at our house we have the deep fried, fried fish a lot. All right, the lid is going to go onto my rice cooker and I'm going to plug in my unit and press it down to cooking. Um, this probably will only take about 10 minutes. It's not going to take very long because there is not very much water in the bottom that has to come to a boil and steam. And once it's all steamed off and this machine senses no more water, it will turn it to warm. Um, other things you might like to season your fish with, um, lemon pepper, maybe some chili powder, some garlic salt or garlic powder might be other options. So you can kind of play around with what seasonings you would like to put on it. All right, so now it's just time to wait for this to cook. Well, I just heard my rice cooker pop to warm. So now my fish should be finished. I see here, first good sign that it has reached completion is that it doesn't have that kind of clear opaque look anymore it is white. The next test would be that if it is flaky, and it's very flaky as well. So I'm going to remove these four pieces. Now these would be great just like they are. You could serve them with rice that you cook in the bottom of this rice cooker at the same time as the fish, putting the fish in towards the um, end of the rice cooking time. or you could make them into some fish tacos with a little aioli or aioli sauce, whichever way you like to say it, um, which is a garlic mayo. All right, a little fresh squeeze of lemon on there. Let's see. Nice and flaky. Mm. That turned out very well. I can taste my seasonings. I do suggest strongly that you don't just cook the fish plain. I can taste that salt and that um, old bay. Nice, simple way and a nice, healthy way to make fish in your rice cooking. You know, I just finished that fish video and I just had another thought. I'm going to try an experiment. I wonder if I can make my entire meal in my rice cooker. I am going to make a little brown rice with some cauliflower and a piece of salmon and see if we can get all of this to be finished at the same time and ready for me to eat. So this is going to be like a one person meal here. And we'll see what happens. So I'm going to put my half cup of already rinsed brown rice into the bottom of my rice cooker pan and I'm going to add one cup of water to that. Now I'm going to let that get started because brown rice takes quite a while. I think if I was using white rice it might be a little bit different but I don't have any um, white rice on hand right now and I like the brown rice anyway. So make sure I turn that on. Yes I did. My button is down and I'm going to let that cook. Now the brown rice usually takes close to 40 minutes so I think I'm going to um, 
put my fish and my cauliflower in more at like 15 or even um, with 10 minutes remaining on the rice. Um, while that's cooking here, let's have a look at what else I have. I've just got some cauliflower, you know, enough for one person to eat. And I have a salmon filet here. So let's take that salmon filet out of the package. Now I'm going to leave that skin on the bottom. Most of the time when I make salmon, I grill it and I like to leave the skin on because then it just um, flakes right off of there and you don't have to worry about the salmon um, flesh itself being, um, what do I want to say, um, stuck to the grill plates. So I think with this, I'm going to also leave it on there. So I'm going to be cooking it in this um, pan right here. All right, I think I want to remove some of the moisture from that. Let's grab something to absorb that. We'll just leave this sit right on there. All right, so there's my salmon filet. And I do like to have my fish seasoned. So I've chosen some lemon pepper and some garlic salt. If I use garlic salt, then I don't use um, regular salt at all. All right, I'm just gonna put that in there over it, rub it around a little bit. Okay, my salmon will be ready to go in when my rice is getting My cold. rice has quit bubbling and steaming and it's really only been about 15 minutes, but I don't have as much rice in there as usual. And like I said, this is an experiment. So I think it's time to get my cauliflower and my salmon put into the rice cooker. I am going to brush my salmon bottom just with a little olive oil. Like I said, since it's an experiment, I just want to be sure it doesn't stick to my pan. So into the top of this, this is going to go and we will see how this cooks and if I can get a one person meal all cooked in my rice cooker or not. That's the test today. I don't think that salmon is going to take very long to cook at all. The red color of the salmon is already becoming a pink color and it's been in there for less than three minutes. Well, my rice cooker just popped to the warm button, so I'm going to test and see how well this turned out. I'm going to take a knife and check out my cauliflower. Oh yeah, it stabs right through those pieces of cauliflower, so nice and tender. Let's remove the cauliflower from this steamer. All right, next we'll pull that piece of fish out. I'm gonna first check that, yes, it is flaky. We do want our salmon cooked through. I think I'm gonna need a spatula for this. Let's take this little spatula and get underneath there. All right, that skin, it's gonna pull right off of there. Awesome. Let's flip it right over and I'm going to just remove that skin, another sign that this is finished. Okay, I'll just get rid of that skin in this little bowl back here. Okay, now I'm going to check on that rice down in there. Sometimes this can be hot, so I'm just going to lift that out with my knife. And oh, I might have overcooked my rice just a little bit, but I'm not used to cooking such a small amount of rice at a time. It's just a little more done than usual, a little crispier on the bottom than I would normally have. Let's get something so I don't burn myself here. Easier if I lift it out. All right, so there is my entire meal. I'm gonna make a little sauce for this salmon as well here. I've got some balsamic vinegar, and I'm just gonna put like a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar in there. And I've got like a teaspoon of brown sugar and some fresh lemon. You could use lemon juice if you wanted to. Okay, you gotta take those seeds out. I dropped three little seeds out of my lemon into there. Get rid of those. All right, just give that a little stir. Balsamic, brown sugar, lemon juice. Drizzle it on our 
fish. And I now have my entire meal cooked in 30 minutes, all in my rice cooker. I think I would call this experiment a success.